Hello everyone! It has been a really long time since I uploaded a YouTube video and a lot has happened and I'm sure you guys don't want to hear that because you're here for cosplay stuff and convention stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, a lot's happened. I'm back hopefully to make uh, one, one or two videos a month. That's my goal. Um, so if you are new to my channel, hello, how's it going? How are you? I am Red of Red Fox Cosplay. I am a part-time, I guess for fun, cosplayer, podcaster, and streamer. And now I have taken my adventures back to YouTube. And I'm sorry for all the adjusting light, but today we are going to be talking about frequently asked questions for beginning cosplayers. Let's get into it. The first question that a lot of people ask when they're going to be getting into cosplay and starting their cosplay and a question that I've asked myself is Inclusion myself. Yes, you can see my ring light and my glasses. I'm sorry. These help me. I've been working on my computer. These are blue light filter glasses. Is so the question is, do I have to make my cosplay? Honestly, I say no. Um, people prefer to because it's more custom um, and they can add all sorts of details. I buy my cosplays. It's something I've been very vocally about on both my podcast and in real life. Uh, it's what it is. I don't have the talent to sew and I don't feel like bothering my sister every time I want to do a new costume. So I do what is called a closet cosplay where I use regular clothes and I am hoping to just start adding details onto it onto them so that they look like the actual cosplay character or the characters from the anime. Um, so my answer to that question is no, I don't think you have to make your stuff, but if you want to, you are more than happy to go and do so. The next question, um, this seems to be not really for beginners, but it can dabble in beginning cosplayers, uh, but also people who have been cosplaying for a while but want to start making their own cosplay, and that is, can I buy cosplay fabric? Yes, you can, and you can get it at Joanne Fabrics. Although I don't understand the difference between cosplay fabric and regular fabric, if you know the difference, please enlighten me in the comments. Obviously, I do not make my costumes, as I stated before, so educate me. I would love to know if there's a difference. Uh, but yes, Joanne Fabrics does sell cosplay fabrics that you can buy. Uh, prices may vary depending on the season and if sales are going on and where you live. Another question for beginning cosplayers who are getting into cosplay is uh, how much does it cost to start cosplaying? Really? There's no money amount. In, in my mind, there's no money amount to start cosplaying. Uh, I've followed cosplayers where they started cosplaying uh, like a year ago with just stuff they pulled out of their closet and then to present day they're phenomenal like they're professional cosplayers now it so there is no real starting point in my mind for money to start cosplaying it's just something if you want to do it and you enjoy it then do it Another question which I have been asked, I've been asked on a live when I was at a convention, um, had to be about a year ago. Yes, this question still stuck out with me because it was really the first time where someone was following me, asking me for my opinion, which I was amazed that someone actually wanted my opinion on if they should do this. And that question is, should I go to a convention? My answer, 
that I gave this follower of mine and that I stick to today is go to at least one. Go to one and from there you can determine if it's something that you want to continue doing or if it's not your cup of tea. Uh, I fell in love when I first started going uh, to conventions. It was mind blowing and I had so much fun. I went to my, my local convention. It's kind of a big convention. It's I think ranked like one or two. <laughs> Sorry, my dog. Hi baby. So my local convention I think is ranked number one or two biggest in the Midwest. It is uh, Anime Milwaukee. I go to it, haven't missed one in nine years since I first started going in 2012. No, I lied. 2011. I'm sorry, 2012 was when I started cosplaying. <laughs> um, so uh, I loved it and I've got to meet so many friends through that convention and I don't know, to me I, I love going to conventions so my advice to you is if you're thinking of going to a convention or you don't know if you should go, go to at least one and uh, from there you can determine if you want to continue to go. The next question, which uh, the same fan from the previous question also asked is how much does a convention cost? This is going to vary depending on where you are and the size of the convention. So your best bet is to go onto their website and look up on their register page and see how much it is. Another question um, is can I cosplay uh, OCs? And if you don't know what OCs are, though it stands for original characters. I say yes. Um, you might not get as many people approaching you as you think you would, but I think if you go and cosplay an OC, I've cosplayed an OC. I've cosplayed my OCs to conventions and I've had people compliment me on my wig. I had people compliment me on my makeup. Um, wasn't a lot, uh, but I did have people compliment me and they asked about my character. But yes, you can cosplay your OCs. Just don't expect to be stopped if you want to get a lot of pictures. So definitely take a lot of pictures yourself, pose, do all that fun stuff at conventions and just have fun. Another question that I received when I went to a smaller convention for the first time uh, because I tend to do this a lot is can I gender bend my character? Absolutely! Like, I don't see why not. It. I personally gender bend most of my characters because I have a bigger chest for a woman and it is incredibly hard to bind, let alone bind for a long time. But in my opinion, if you want to turn a, cause, a, a male character into a female character, do it. If you want to turn a female character into a male character, do it. I think it, it shows so much creativity and you should do it. That's in my mind that do it because I would love to see how you guys and how other people portray characters in the opposite gender role. We're going to move on to uh, the final question that is commonly asked is, how do you have to be to attend a con? Uh, there are no age limits, but there are age uh, like tiers on how much a badge will cost. Um, Again, these vary from convention to convention. Um, definitely check out your local cons website. They have all of that information and then some on the website. So one of my huge recommendations is to just check out the convention website that you plan on attending, uh, which right now amongst, amidst this coronavirus is uh, looking rather slim. I had a convention cancel and I'm just praying I can get some the convention at the end of the year and, 
and have some fun and see my friends I don't normally get to see. In conclusion, there is so many things you can do as a cosplayer, going to conventions, doing things, being creative. Do it if, if you love it, if you want to, and you want to be part of an amazing community, absolutely do it. It's gonna be a really fun time. Thank you for watching this, this probably really rough first video back in like a year. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you lovely, lovely people in the next video.